Uh, so let's talk about um, years of the rat and the ox and the tiger and the rabbit and the dragon and the snake and the horse. Uh, we, we are the same. You and I. I think we are. We're, You're the horse. We're the horse. Fellow yeah. horse. What does that we're... mean in, in the Chinese new philosophy? Oh, well, we are hardworking. Uh, we <laughs> we love veggie. We love grazing. We love travelling. But we need the blinkers on because, you know, we get distracted easily. So We've got right. the shortest attention span. <laughs> we, we're so impatient. Everything was so last year already. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, but we're good. We're, so noble. Right. we're noble. We're noble. OK, so, so um, this year is the year of the rat. Yes. OK, uh, Quick-witted, resourceful, versatile, and kind. Uh, mm -hmm. When's your birthday? When were you born? When were you born? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. <gasps> rabbit. Rabbit. Yes. rabbit. Tell us about rabbits. Rabbits are quick. Uh, you can't <laughs> catch a rabbit. Uh, dragons can't get to the rabbit. He's really pleased. Uh, he's, he's beaming. <laughs> I'm thinking that's worth a couple of minutes off my marathon PB, isn't it? Just being the year Just of the stick rabbit. Stick with the vapor flies, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm 1979, so I'm the goat. Oh, goat. Tell oh, us you... about goats. Goats are wise. They're noble. They no! always, uh, yeah, they always get to the top. You know. Thank you. Think of the ibex goat. You can juggle a hundred million different things, and <laughs> it'd be great as a cook, actually, in the kitchen. Um, right. Interesting. You always get to the top. Mountain goats get to the top because they never stop. They're very pragmatic, aren't they? Yeah. And they're very purposeful and they're very precise, which is why they don't fall off those blinking mountains. <laughs> That's you all over, isn't it? <laughs> By the way, I've acquired your point. You I never have. used to point before I met you. I don't like pointing. Oh, it's fun. No, it's not. It feels like you've got a gun in your hand. <laughs> uh, right, so, Ching Hei, um, you have this lovely book out. Um, now, Vassos, first of all, would like to focus on the title. Well, just... You must have been thrilled when you thought of Walk On. You thought, well, that would be taken. Somebody else will have written a walk-based book recipe called Walk On. So yeah. let's, let's sing something else. Oh, no, what? Nobody has. Oh, no, that one. Can you, could that you one. believe Copyright that? I'm really sorry for all the other Chinese <laughs> yeah. chefs out there. You know, I got there first why with the old they, Walk why On. Why wouldn't but... have already been written Walk On or You'll Never Walk Alone? Yeah. Or... I know, that's brilliant. Or Walk I Away. Know. Or, yeah. Yeah. You know, or Walk, walk in Paradise. Roll. Walk and Roll. Yeah, there you go, Walk Chris. and Spring Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, I, a, it's a lovely looking book. Thank um, you so much. I, I, I think covers of books are so important, and this is great. It's got a bit of Art Deco going on as well. It's actually it's got a bit of, bit of is that William Scott? Would he be a bit William, William Scott? So. Things like that. We've got a bit of noodles going up as well. You got noodles. You got the, <laughs> the, the 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 squiggle of life going up with a noodle, which is what it's all about. Uh, and you have your own walk now. Uh, what makes a good walk? Thank you for bringing this one in, by the way. Thank you. Oh, pleasure. Tell pleasure. us the importance. I know of... you're a walker. I, I know, can tell. I am a walker. <laughs> I'm an old walker. <laughs> Is why I am. Uh, so, so, so tell us about the importance of a good walk first of okay, all. Okay, so all, all serious, you know, you want to walk like a boss. You've got to have a good carbon steel walk. It heats up quickly, it retains the heat. Um, <coughs> you need uh, one that you can create your own pattern, all right? Yeah. Yeah, and you can basically, uh, basically fry things in it, yeah. steam, braise, everything in it. But the main thing is a good non stick. Mm. Um, Walk. Okay, now but, th these are your walks. So you make, you have your own walk, don't you? Yeah, I've got my own. Um, this this one's called the Lotus Walk, and that's because it's like the water just drips off of it. It's right. got this non-stick without that horrible non-stick coating yeah, in it. Yeah, and it's beautiful it's and weighty. Blasted. It's got a gorgeous wooden handle, which makes you want to walk straight away. Thank you. And also underneath, it's, it's fashioned. Uh, it's ergonomically fashioned, so it, it sits beautifully into mm. your palm like that. It's got a fantastic thing to hang. Who doesn't like to see a walk expectantly ha hanging? Yeah. Over, over a hob, uh, that's good. But also, you I'm say I'm going to have to give you royalties. No, you I'm don't. Have no. to give you commission no, because I think you know. I, I'll, t I'll say this now. I could never have said this on the BBC because they'd have uh, given me like 17 pages after the show with why I couldn't have said it. I spent 82 pounds on my bread knife. And now I know that's silly in in some people's eyes, but I love my bread knife, and I bought it about seven years ago. It's a thing of beauty. It cuts through, but it slices. You don't have to apply any pressure. You just start to move it, and it takes care of the rest. The kids love it. It's got a beautiful wooden handle, and mm. you know you get plastic bread knife, plastic handled bread knives, or cheap bread knives. They come and they go. You don't care. I really care about this bread mm. knife, mm. and this wok mm. is going to go right up there, right into the premiership of our kitchen utensils. It's beautiful. Thank you so oh, much. Oh no, it's my pleasure. And thanks for doing Carfest, by the way. You you, you were a big hit at Carfest. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure. Thanks for having me. No, but also I... you bring a wok on. 
when you bring your energy, you bring your joy on stage. You know, as I say, we're already having mm. fun, aren't we? You know, uh, and it's we're cooking and we're going to get some great food at the end of it. Um, so you've brought in, so you cook something for us here, totally vegan. Can't yes. tell the difference. Doesn't matter. Full of flavour. What, what are we? What are you treating us to here in front okay. of us now? You've got a saucy mushroom tofu stir fry. You've got the delicious <gasps> umami fresh shiitake mushrooms. You could use dry Chinese mushrooms. Uh, it's got tofu full of phytonutrients, <laughs> protein, uh, phytoestrogen in there. It's really delicious. Is that, uh, is that coriander? And that's fresh coriander. I wasn't sure if you're a fan of coriander. I you love coriander. You can sprinkle to your heart. I said, I said last week on the show that... Um, that rosemary is my favourite herb. I think it's actually a tie between coriander and, and rosemary. Yes. I think coriander so. coming up on the rails. Okay, <laughs> oh, let's take. Let's, you've already had some of this, haven't you? Oh yes, I have. And uh, when you say it's oh, a delicious drink, I can me. absolutely Lovely. confirm that it is delicious. And um, what's the word? Thank you. Peng. It's peng. Oh, peng. <laughs> right. So, oh my goodness me! It just the see, just the rice, just the rice, yeah. rice done well. Yeah. Rice. Give us a rice tip. Jasmine rice. The thing is, don't believe people who tell you don't wash your rice. You absolutely have to wash your rice until the water runs clear. You're not going to get that cloudy starchiness, but you're going to get a clean taste of each grain of rice. And the, the trick is, you know, whatever, how much you've got, if it's 300 grams of rice, 600 ml of water, clean water on top, bring it up until it bubbles. As soon as it bubbles, lid on, turn the heat to low, 15 minutes, Leave it. Do not fluff it. Do not stir it. Do not do anything. It will do its job and you will get the beautiful fragrance of the rice. Then you know it's ready. And then take it off the heat. Quick fluff. Serve. So People you... there like stirring. Yeah, I know. Interfering. Like, interfering. Interfering. You know, just let it let do its, do its magic. Thing. And jasmine rice is the best for Chinese cooking. It's so delicious. And the aroma just gets you every time. All right, so jasmine rice is the jasmine big tip. Jasmine rice. So, so double the water of the of the grammage of the... Of the, um... of the uh, yeah, exactly, of okay. the rice. So, okay, so 300 grams, 600 th ml. 600 ml, okay. Yeah, 400 right. grams... 800 ml. Right. And then do you have to sieve it at the end or will it have been boiled for long enough that it, the water's in there and you No, the you water's in there and every oh. grain will be gorgeous and plump. That's what you want. It is what you want, isn't it? This is, oh, nice. what we want. What do you, <laughs> another one. What do you want? We've got 20 bucks for you I'm here. I'm going to have to start paying. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. So that's just the rice. Okay, and if you were going to season the rice or you're going to do anything with the rice afterwards, what might you do with it? Okay, so this is what you can do. Mm. With the rice, you can inject a little bit of colour. You can use saffron pieces, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. add it into the water and that will be beautiful you can add turmeric turmeric is so good for you you know it helps to prevent cold flu if you want more flavor instead of just the water use vegetable stock or if you want chicken stock if you're a meat lover you can do that instead of the water it will be more kind of um more richer in taste yeah, yeah. but you're not going to get the clean grain but it depends what you're cooking because if what you're cooking is light light then you've got nice flavor in the rice and try and stay light yeah try and stay light try light stay is light. yeah light is good because lots of people like chinese food <laughs> but they get, they get pre-Chinese food guilt and they don't need to because it can be extraordinarily healthy, can't it? That's the oh, point. absolutely. Home cooking is so healthy. And it's not that your restaurant food you won't. It's just that when we tend to go to the restaurants, we, every restaurant, we get a bit naughty and we go, well, have the fried thing, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, I'll have a little yeah. bit of that. And you kind of go overboard. But when you're cooking at home every day like you do oh. and your body's a temple, you're looking at what you, you know, you, everything that you put into it. Give, give us a tofu tip. Tofu. Okay. To, sorry, tofu. Yeah, tofu, tofu. Uh, it's it's beautiful. Great protein. It's um, you need to drain it well because it's got a lot of water in it. Okay. Um, once you drain it, put a little board on top if you want to get all the excess moisture out. If you want a crisp tofu, it tastes rather bland. So you need to inject it with a hit of sauce. You need delicious ingredients for the sauce. And for the sauce, you can make a simple one: uh, stock soy sauce. Uh, dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, a little bit of tamari in there, a little bit of chili bean paste for a kick, um, and then a little bit of corn flour, and you just mix it up. You don't need to buy your sauces, you know, jarred sauces. Just pour that in, and that will thicken and just become delicious. Corn flour is your best friend, actually, in Chinese cooking. See, now, did you see what Ching did then? With the pointy fingers? Yeah, but she didn't point. No, she, she went up and retracted. No, she didn't retract it. She okay. just went up, because that is... <laughs> Attention, when you when you go from the vertical point to the horizontal point, that is attack. Oh, tip. yeah. Oh, and I think that, that, that warrior. That's quite, <laughs> well, I just did that. I but just that's quite Zen, isn't warrior. it? <laughs> often, often if Zen masters are asked, you know, what is Zen? So, so I'm not a Zen master, but imagine that I might have been once, or you know, ask me what Zen is. 
What's his zen? <laughs> Just pointing upwards <laughs> and staring at me. <laughs> a bit scared now. That's it. It's beyond words. Well, oh, okay. it's beyond words. Oh, okay. But it's the and I like because I think if you point like like you just did then I'm, I'm like mm. I like that because you go here it's like a ding yeah. you might want to hear this whereas yeah. you want to get back against that wall <laughs> otherwise this thing is going to pierce your lungs <laughs> anyway well, let's get a bit naughty shall we my mum's uh, sriracha 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 ketchup yes. prawns yes a little bit naughtier. A little bit naughty. Tell us about these. Not so virtuous. Because they look gorgeous. So, oh. that, so okay. <laughs> Not so virtuous, but looks absolutely blimmin' gorgeous. That's a great one for Chinese New Year, Chris, if you're going to walk something up this weekend. Because right. prawns um, symbolise, in Chinese tradition, um, laughter. It's like ha, ha. You know, that's the Cantonese ha, 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 ha for, for ha, prawns. Ha, 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 ha. And ha. they're red in colour, and red is lucky. It's a symbol of luck and wealth and prosperity. Yeah. Um, and, you know, so fresh. But you, if you're a vegetarian, just use red peppers and, and stir fry it using that same sriracha ketchup sauce. Now, why it's my mum's uh, ketchup, sriracha Tell ketchup sauce? Tell us about your mum. My mum, I love my mum. My mum, my mum, she's in Taiwan at the moment, and I don't get to see them much now. Now for Chinese New Year because I'm working over here but I see them every Christmas if I can uh, we, we came from a very humble family yeah. we still are we've got you know my both my grandparents are farmers on both sides we grew bamboo farm and then a, a rice farm on the other side and you know I grew up with my grandmother I left Taiwan when I was five but up until then all the traditions the Chinese traditions they drilled into me you will do this no but they pointed yeah, you yeah, will yeah, do you're this not, you're not pointing you will anymore. be a good yeah. <laughs> you know a uh, granddaughter um, and I didn't realize I'd grow up to be a cook but I saw my grandmother cook for all the family, 25 of us, lived in the Siha Yuan, this right. Chinese style courtyard house, home, with all these families living off in this rectangular kind of block. With all the, they have all these different veggie patches. My grandmother had chickens. Everything was chaos, but it was beautiful because she had her <laughs> big wok stove. You're great. And she just, <laughs> she just walked like a boss. And oh, that's what I'm trying to do now. <laughs> good, good, good. Right, well, tell us a bit more about the chicken. Go on. Oh, the chicken. Well, Wow, that wasn't so wonderful. But um, yeah, no, she would, you know, kill fish, gut, you know, everything and do it beautifully and skillfully. But we never ate meat every single day. Yeah. Everything was f really for a special occasion. OK, well, give us, give us your best veggie dish, because my, my wife, um, she loves she loves um, the bro broccoli and garlic. Um, what's the what's the big the big Chinese dishes? The one that everybody pak, pak choy. Oh, pak yeah. choy. So give, beautiful. Give, give, us your, give us your give us the the, the greatest looking um, shimmering green bowl or wok of delight that you can imagine. Wok of delight. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Buddha's delight. Then there's an actual Chinese dish called Buddha's delight. Right. And it's full of wonderful vegetables. Mm -hmm. You've got bright carrots sliced into long ovals. Oh. You've got the pak choy sliced into the round. Bowl bulbs, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. looking like a flower, lotus flower. You've got delicious <laughs> uh, woodier fungus, you know, mushrooms decorating the plate. And it's just cooked up in a, a, a simple ginger, a light umami soy sauce that just brings it all together. And it's just colour, flavour. Thai in Mandarin means also a homonym for prosperity. Well, so I you're going to get prosperous. Why don't we eat your veg? walk every night? Because <laughs> it's, it's so simple. The kids love it. You know, what happens is you get you end up with a big wok of food. So it's, you have to share. You have to play yeah. sharing. So that's good because everybody interacts with each other. Absolutely. Nobody gets confronted by a load of food on one plate, which can be can put, put kids especially off. And also it makes everything shine and look more appealing, doesn't it? Absolutely. So, you know, if you're going to do a party, a Chinese New Year party this weekend, have a buffet. This is what I do. I make the kitchen work hard. I'll have, roast something in the oven. You could roast mushrooms. You could roast tofu in the oven. You could roast the pork, yep. you know, whatever you want. You can have a, the steamer going on one pot. You can cook rice in another <laughs> pot. And then you can wok up. You can have something in the fryer, fry some spring rolls. And then in the wok, have everything ready. Every dish yep. takes five minutes minutes cook it all put it all there yeah. have a wok buffet and the family love it yeah and to, to, you, all you've got to do is uh, let people know what time to walk up yeah to the front <laughs> door that's all you've got to do it's as simple as that just quick i know we're over time but you're so good quickly give us a give us a really healthy soup a really good soup uh, okay i would do 
a sweet corn soup. Right. So easy. Everyone can do it. Uh, some water, a little bit of veg stock, a tin of sweet corn if you want, or buy the fresh and yeah. cut the kernels off. Pop that in. Uh, put in your veg. Put in some mushrooms. Uh, slice spring onions. Keep them at the end. In the, in the wok again. All in the wok. All in the wok. You can, do, in a wok. you can do everything in the wok. If you want protein, add some tofu. Smoked tofu pieces in there would be delicious. Light soy. A uh, little bit of dark soy, very small bit of lemon. Would you ever put a squeeze of lemon in? Mm. Uh, lemon, you can if you like something sour, or you put rice vinegar if you want a little hit of tang. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, some chopped coriander stems, and then just thicken it with a little <laughs> bit of corn flour. <laughs> so good. With a slice of bread. Yeah, you're so good. You're so good. No. All right, you can come back anytime you want. Yep. Oh Literally. my god, you <laughs> you've made my day. You, you, I, I watch you. We've for made years your day. We've, you've made our day. No. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky.